early 1900s, Texas cattle were shipped out of state for processing. In 1931, seven prominent Houston businessmen met to discuss how to keep the process local. Meeting details are sketchy, but when the lunch ended, the Houston Fat Stock Show was born. The first show opened April 30th, 1932. If the meaning of this show could be summed up into one single thought, it would be the future of the livestock industry of Texas will be left in the hands of the youngsters. That year's grand champion steer sold for $504, compared to the current record of just over $600,000. Early show attendance was poor. Mind you, it was just a livestock show in the old rundown Sam Houston Hall. But in 1938, the show moved into the new Sam Houston Coliseum. It added nightly rodeos, a carnival, and a downtown parade. The 1940s introduced the ever-popular calf scramble to the lineup and brought in the show's first big-name entertainer. It was Hollywood singing cowboy star Gene Autry. Channel 13 was the first station to televise the rodeo's opening ceremonies in 1958. The following year, we broadcast the rodeo parade and have done so every year since. Who could forget our beloved Marvin Zimmer strutting his twirling skills stuff. 75 years plus, the man can still do it. In 1952, the show created the Saltgrass Trail Ride as a publicity stunt. Leaner, trimmer beef was becoming the norm. So in 1961, the show dropped fat stock from its name and became the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Four years later, the show moved into the eighth wonder of the world, the Astrodome. Additional space allowed for continued growth. The three-day world championship barbecue, the I Want That Oreo pig races, and Ag Venture. A unique hands-on experience for children. For students unable to raise an animal, the show developed a Western Heritage School Art Program, which involves more than 142 school districts and the exceptional rodeo pairs special needs children with rodeo cowboys for a magical once-in-a-lifetime experience. Big stars love the rodeo stage, including Elvis Presley. But the show's most popular performer's initial rodeo appearance was a fluke. When Eddie Rabbit became ill right before his 1983 rodeo concert, someone suggested newcomer George Strait. A private plane retrieved George from a hunting trip. And the rest, as they say, is history. Every visit to the rodeo brings a new, memorable experience, whether it's riding a sheep, a new carnival ride, or eating something exquisitely fried on a stick. But the show's mission remains the same. Bobby, I believe you're the lucky boy. Since its inception, the rodeo has committed more than $475 million in scholarships to the youth of Texas. And that's why our world-class Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is best known as the show with a heart. <laughs>